Well, I'm back out here at this site again. I'm going to try something a little different tonight. Yeah. That's Andy Savage's coin program. I'm going to try it tonight. I've dug a lot of silver and a lot of wheats out here. But I'm not, I haven't dug very many nickels. Uh, no old nickels. Uh, I've dug one Indian. So I'm going to try something a little different. Open this green up quite a bit. I'm still going to cherry pick a little bit. And just aim for some of the deeper targets. But I'm hoping this will maybe find me a buffalo or some more Indians. So I'll get back with you if I find anything. Well, can't see the date on it, but I did find an Indian. Yep, I'm back from the hunt. Depending on what you call a good hunt, I used Andy Savage's coin program and I dug every signal. As you can see, plenty of nails, pull tabs and beaver tails, some can slaw, two keys, 12 gauge and a 22. Um, one, two, three, five nickels, six, seven, eight pennies, a dime, a quarter, and I did find one Indian head. It's an 1891. I'll try to get a better picture of it after I clean it and post it in the video, but and a bunch of dirt but that's it for the hunt I dug all that in about four hours so I was digging full well today I'm going to try something a little different this is our local sixth grade they only have sixth grade kids here but it used to be the high school and it was also my elementary school where I went to elementary school. So I'm going to I'm going to try this little bit of yard back here, close to the cafeteria. Maybe people had their lunch and stuff there while they were in high school. So I'll get back with you if I find anything else. Or if I find anything at all, I know it's been detected pretty hard. There's a couple of detectorists here in town that that have been out here that I'm sure of, but I'll get back with you if I find anything. Well, I just found my first good target. Not exactly sure what it is, but it's definitely a silver dime. But I can't see what it is. I'll wash it up when I get home and let you know what it is. Well, even though I found a silver dime, I'm fixing to move to a different spot. If you look at all the targets here, the threshold is just consist consistently off. So if I discriminate anything out, it's like just tons of iron falsing, no matter how far down I turn the, the uh, sensitivity. So I'm going to move on to a different spot. It's got a little 
bit less trash and come back when I got more patience. Now, well, since there was so much trash at that school, I decided to come back out here to the fairgrounds, local fairgrounds, where I found a silver nickel and a mercury dime, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, whatever it was. And I'm going to maybe work up through these trees. It looks like they trimmed all the trees. So they're all covered in brush at the base. If you can see it, but so I won't be able to get up close to the trees. There's brush everywhere. But I might go maybe I'll go over on this side. But if I find anything, I'll get back with you. Well, I found my first wheat. It rang up real nice. If you look right here, I pulled a pull tab up when I re-swung it. I got a real nice high tone right there. Dug it and it was a wheat. So sometimes it pays to dig up the pull tabs, I guess. Nineteen twenty six. I'll get back with you if I find anything else. Well, I found another wheat. Wasn't super deep and it was ringing up at like 9.35. I would have never in a million years thought it was a wheat. Nineteen... Fifteen or sixteen, I can't tell. But, if I find anything else, I'll get back with you. Well, I've got another signal right here. It's kind of... Yeah, it's ringing up right now at 1037. It looks like it's about three and a half, four inches deep. I just dug out wheat right there. And it was ringing at like 935, so... I'm going to take a chance and do a live dig on this one. But it might just be junk, we'll see. it is it's another pretty sure it's another wheat nope it's an Indian eighteen ninety three Indian cool there you go
Well, I'm getting about a 1043, about five or six inches deep right here. So I'm going to do another full dig on this one and see what it turns out to be. Well, I can see an impression of a coin right there, so there's definitely a coin in here. Hmm. I don't know, maybe there's some fill dirt. It's just a memorial. see the date but just a copper memorial well I've got a about a 1044 1244 about five inches deep about I don't know five or six feet from that last memorial I found five or six inches I'm gonna guess this might be some more clad but maybe a clad dime but we'll see here in a minute Same thing, just a copper memorial. I don't know, maybe there's some fill dirt in here. It doesn't look like it, but I don't know. But I'll get back with you if I find anything else. Hell, I got a solid 1246, or 1247, uh, about four or five inches deep. So we'll try this one, see what it comes out to be. Yeah, another copper memorial. Well, I've got an iffy target. Looks like it's about six or seven inches deep. I'm almost past it, but I can hit it both ways. So I'm going to go ahead and dig it and see what it is.
you know, some kind of little bitty rivet. I mean, it's pretty tiny. I'm surprised it even picked it up that deep. Just like an aluminum rivet of some sort. It's painted yellow. Yeah, I got an 1135. It reads real good one direction, but not the other. It's only about four inches deep, so I'm going to go ahead and dig it. Zinking. Well, I've been digging up a few memorials here, so I kind of quit filming them, trying to save the battery for better targets, but I did just dig up a wheat. It wasn't very deep. It's only about three inches deep. Can't see the date on it. It's, well... Looks like 40 something, I can't tell. But I'll show you when I get it cleaned up. Well, I'm back at the house. Ended up, this dime was a 1934 Merc. An 1893 Indian head. It's in pretty good condition. Yeah, it's pretty worn, I guess. Still nice, nice and green. Yeah, three wheats, which two of them are brown, but this one's real nice and green, just like the Indian I found. So I'm gonna clean it up like I do my Indians. I'll, I might show you later how I clean them Indians. That'd be my third Indian, William. This would be my third Indian this year. My fourth overall. I found one the week before last, and I found two this week so far. So I'm pretty happy with that. But there you have it.